Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Absolutely welcome. Welcome to Discover Da Vinci and Michelangelo side by side. This is where our story really begins. At the age of 14, Michelangelo, pictured there in yellow, had the opportunity at the age of 14 to meet Lorenzo de' Medici. Lorenzo the Magnificent, the leader of the Florentine Empire for the very first time. He designed it one way for the horse and rider to be in this forward position and literally run this wagon into the field of battle. Actually, Michelangelo had three pietas, three sculptings that he referred to as the pieta during his entire life. This is now considered the Rome pieta. There's a Florentine pieta and there's actually a third pieta. Leonardo da Vinci was tall and handsome and gregarious. Everybody wanted to be associated with da Vinci. Michelangelo was kind of small and kind of diminutive. He actually said during his entire life that he hated the way that he looked. Da Vinci designed the original battleship. This is probably his most famous aerodynamic design. The men would hold on to those bars and literally run around in a circle in an attempt to air screw up into the air like a Presto de helicopter. That he said for four years as he painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, his back was bent like an archer's bow. And one day Pope Jesus II walked into Michelangelo, summoned him off the scaffolding, and he walked up to Michelangelo and he said, when is this going to get done? <laughs> Michelangelo, in his famous angry artist attitude that he could unleash at any time, he looked over to Pope Judas II, you know what he said to him? He goes, when I can! He says, when I can, I'm going to get this done! It took Leonardo da Vinci and Les Paul to keep us all rocking. <laughs> Let's take a fly around da Vinci's ideal city. This mechanical lion robot was designed to move forward 50 meters, stop, and then roar up like a lion. And then his chest would open and flowers and lilies and doves would fly out. In tribute to the king, he could wake up immediately and return to his sculpting. And immediately return to his passion for all eternity. Discover the Da Vinci in you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think he's a fabulous scholar. He certainly knows his subject beautifully and is, has a very uh, entertaining presentation of it. It was very enjoyable. It would be appealing not only to the young people, but uh, to adults too. It was one of the best, uh, I think, presentation I have ever seen.